Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Cat Mario Show. Hi, everyone. I'm Cat Mario, one of your hosts for the Cat Mario Show. And I'm Cat Peach. In this show, we'll present you with interesting facts, tips, and quizzes about Super Mario 3D World and loads of other games too. We're going to have so much fun. Let's get started. Become a Mario expert. In this part of the show, we'll look at Mario games and help you all to become Mario experts. Today, we'll look at playing with friends in Super Mario 3D World. You all know that in Super Mario 3D World, up to four friends can play together, right? Playing with friends means you can lift others up and move around, help each other jump up high, or work together to defeat enemies. Working together can be super powerful! Now, we're going to look at a secret thing that you can only do when playing together. This is where it gets really interesting. Take a look at this. These two are halfway through the course, but they're both teeny tiny. A dangerous business. Yeah, but when you're both mini, you can lift your friend up and pass a checkpoint flag. And you'll both power up. Good stuff. Here's another one. When you're invincible from using a superstar, bump into your mates and they'll become invincible too. Share the love. Last one, try doing a ground pound on the copies from a double cherry power-up. Hold it! He took one of the doubles! It's also fun to steal copies from your friends. <gasps> I wouldn't let people steal mine! But I'd never do such a thing. There are lots of other things you can do when playing with friends. Do your best to discover them all. Onwards we go! Super quiz time! In this section, we'll test your amazing brains with questions about games. Think carefully before you answer. Today, all the questions are about Super Mario 3D World. This power-up is called a Goomba Mask. What happens when you pick it up? 1. Enemies won't attack you. 2. You take damage. Three, you can't jump. Four, any Goombas disappear. The correct answer is one. Enemies won't attack you anymore. When you put on the Goomba mask, nearby Goombas will mistake you for one of their own and will totally ignore you. They don't seem to notice, even though your legs aren't hidden. But enemies other than Goombas will notice you, so be careful. Life is never simple! Now we're going to show you a video with a pixel art Luigi hidden in it somewhere. Can you spot him? Did you find him? For those who couldn't, we'll show the video again. This time, making him easier to spot. You can do it this time. Did you find him? And the answer is... So tiny. No wonder he was so hard to find. for today. What's the name of this character who blocks your way by moving left and right? 1. Spiky 2. Blockstepper 3. Walleye 4. Brolder The correct answer is 3. Walleye He's called that because his eyes move left and right as he moves. Since it's not possible to defeat him, you have to look carefully and find the perfect timing to sneak past him. That's it for the quiz. How many questions were you able to answer correctly? I think everyone did really well! You think so? Of course, but the questions might be trickier next time. What are you planning? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see! Do you guys 
please know the minigame Kirby Fighters in Kirby Triple Deluxe? In the next section, we'll give you some tips on how you can become super powerful when playing Kirby Fighters. Watch this to keep ahead of your friends. Here, Here we go! go. The path of a Kirby Fighters Master. Train with us to become the most powerful player. Kirby Fighters is a battle mode that can be played by up to four players where everyone plays as Kirby. In this section, we'll introduce the ten copy abilities that can be used in Kirby Fighters and explain good battle techniques for these. So, listen carefully. The two copy abilities we'll be introducing today both have an edge. These are Sword and Cutter. Sword is an ability that lets you fight using a sword. Though most attacks, like the multi-sword attack, are for enemies in close range, enemies below you can be attacked with down thrust. And drill stab can be used to lunge towards far off enemies and attack them. By combining this with upward slash, you can really go after your enemy. And that's not all. Do a sword dive after slashing the enemy upward to inflict huge damage. Remember this fighting combo. Get close with Drill Stab, then use Upward Slash and finish with Sword Dive. Nice! Next is Cutter. With this ability, you can throw the blade on the helmet to attack enemies far away. With Cutter Boomerang, you can toss the blade upwards or downwards. Use the layout of the stage to your advantage. By charging up, you can also use the powerful Hyper Boomerang. Pay attention in battle and use this at the right moment. Keep pressing the button when you're close to enemies to attack with Cleaving Cutter and eventually unleash Final Cutter. To sum up, use Cutter Boomerang for distant enemies and when they get closer, finish them off with Cleaving Cutter. That's all for today's training. Keep at it, fighters! That's it for today. Thank you for joining us. Tune in again to the Cat Mario Show and we'll present you with lots of exciting information about games, just like we did today. In the next episode, we'll be bringing you lots more, along with a brand new section too. See you next!